What's up everyone? Fuzzy Games Beth here. Today let's learn how to make a skip stage because you know what? Sometimes it's a little too hard to, you know, <laughs> complete one stage and you want to just skip it sometimes. I recommend watching the how to make checkpoints video first before you watch this um, because it probably won't work or it most definitely will not work if you don't have a checkpoint system yet. So go ahead and watch that first before you watch this video. Alright, so inside of server script surface, we're gonna go ahead and of course add a script. Delete our print statement, we don't need that at all. Inside of this script, we have our variable, which references our marketplace service. And now we have a function where anytime a player wants to skip a stage, then the product ID, which I will show you guys how to make in just a second, it'll purchase it for however many Robux you set it to, and then it'll move them to the following checkpoint by plus one and they can keep doing this until you know they get to the end of the stage so to get our product id which is essentially our skip stage product head over to roblox.com go to the create tab and then find your experience go ahead and click configure experience create a developer product and then name your product to whatever you want i'm going to do skip stage do a quick description because it's going to show inside of your game what the description is set your price in the robux click create you can also set a picture if you would like so you see that id right there go ahead and copy it we'll be pasting that inside of our script right over here all right next up we're going to go ahead and create our skip stage button so inside of starter gui go ahead and add a screen gui inside of our screen gui you can add either like an image button or a text button it's really up to you so i'm going to go ahead and configure my image button the skip stage button to the right of my screen and then I'm going to go ahead and set an image and then set the transparency, the background transparency of this image button to one so that I can actually see the image instead of that white background. All right, inside of our button, go ahead and add a local script. And of course, as usual, delete our print statement. We don't need that. We have our variables, which references our player and the marketplace service. So anytime a player clicks on the skip stage button it's going to prompt them to purchase the skip stage the product id all right let's go ahead and test it out inside of our game so right now i'm on stage one i'm going to click the skip stage button and it's going to prompt there you go the item and then go ahead and click the five robux and there you go i'm on the next stage how cool is that if you enjoyed this content, please give us a like, a comment, and a subscribe. And as always, have fun creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.